we're going to look at how you can get Grammarly entirely for free. And that way you can have more impact at work. Now, I'm sure you've heard of Grammarly before. They've been around for over 14 years, but you probably didn't know about their advanced AI features and how they can help you communicate better and also faster. For example, you can use Grammarly to brainstorm new ideas, reply to email messages, rewrite your text to make it more engaging, and more. You can do all of this directly where you work, whether that's in your web browser, in your favorite app, or even on your phone. Basically, you can say goodbye to poor and confusing communications. And best of all, I partnered with Grammarly to show you how you can get all of this entirely for free. Let's check this out. To get Grammarly for free, head to the following website. You can click on the card in the top right-hand corner, and I've also included a link down in the description. Once you land on this page, click on the button that says sign up, it's free. Then you could set up your new account. Once you finish signing up, you'll land on the following page where you'll be prompted to install Grammarly on your PC and in your web browser. I recommend doing both. That way you get personalized and on-brand writing suggestions on over 500,000 apps and websites, essentially everywhere you work, like in Google Docs, Outlook, and Gmail. There's no need to copy and paste or switch contexts to be able to use it. If you ever need to get back to the install screen, simply navigate to Grammarly.com and then click on apps on the left-hand side and you can install anywhere. Now that I've installed Grammarly, I can use it anywhere I work. Here, for example, I'm in an Outlook email message and I'm on point to write a marketing communication to all of our customers about National Cookie Day. We're offering everyone a free cookie. It'll be popular, but I always have trouble getting started. Down in the bottom right-hand corner, I have this Grammarly overlay. And let's see if Grammarly can help me get started. I'll click on this icon, and this opens up the Grammarly AI Assistant. Right down below, I can ask Grammarly for assistance. I'll type in, I work at the Kevin Cookie Company. For National Cookie Day, we're offering all customers a free cookie. Can you write an email announcing this? Let's click on Go to see what it comes back with. And here it spits out a beautifully written message. I think all of this sounds really nice. Down below, I'll click on insert, and this now inserts it directly into my email. Over here, I'll close out of the Grammarly overlay. And I think this gives me a really good starting place. This will help me save so much time. Of course, now I'll go in and make a few refinements and a few modifications, and I should be good to go. Here I am now in my Gmail, in my web browser, and I just received an email from a very upset customer with our cookies and our service. Now, I have my suspicions that they mix us up with a different cookie company, and I'm not gonna name names, but I should probably acknowledge and respond to this message. Right up here, I'll click on reply, and right here in the reply area, I have the option for reply quickly from Grammarly. And I'll click on that, and over here, one of the really neat things is it tells me the sender's intent. Ginger wants a refund and an apology for poor service and product quality. She also wants us to investigate our quality control and customer service practices to prevent future issues. She sounds angry. That's really helpful to know. It basically summarizes the message for me. Now, right down below, it gives me some ideas for different types of responses. Right over here, I can apologize and offer a refund. I could promise to investigate, express gratitude for the feedback. All feedback is a gift, whether positive or negative. Right up on top, let's click on apologize for the poor experience. And here Grammarly's working on a response. Here it looks like it starts out with an apology. Here it says that this is not the common experience. And it looks like we also offer a full refund. That seems like a really reasonable response. Down below, I'll click on insert. And this now inserts it into the email message. And just like before, I could go through, make a few modifications before. For example, how many days will it take for this refund? It'll probably take us about two business days. So here I can modify that. And I'll go through, customize the message, and then send it to the customer. And hopefully that results in a happy customer. Here I am now in Google Docs, and I'm working on writing a memo to all employees here at the Kevin Cookie Company. Now, I have a few bullet points of what I would like to include, but I need to turn this into a formal message. So right down in the bottom right-hand corner, again, I have that Grammarly overlay. 
and I will click on this icon to rewrite with Grammarly. When I click on that, it has an understanding of all of the context within this document. So here, let's say, can you turn this into a formal email to send to employees? And let's see what it comes back with. And look at that, it took all of my initial bullet points and it turned it into a beautifully written memo. I think that's really good quality. I'll go down just a little bit here in my document and I'll insert the text in here. I'll close out of Grammarly. And here's now taking all of those bullets and it's crafted a beautiful memo. Of course, I'll go through, make a few changes and modifications, but otherwise, this is a really good place to start. Lastly, here I have an all hands deck that I'm pulling together for the Kevin Cookie Company. And I'm pulling together a slide on our future plans. Now I've written down some text covering what we plan to do, but I don't think this text is very good. Over here, I can highlight all this text. And when I do that, I get this Grammarly overlay. I could click on this button to improve the text. Or over here, I can open up the AI Assistant. And when I do that, I have a few different options. Here, I can improve it, I can shorten it. And if I click on more, I have all of these different options. For example, maybe I want to simplify it, make it more informative, or paraphrase it. So I have all these different options to improve my writing. Right up on top, let's just test out improve it to see what it comes back with. And right over here, it's taken my text and I think it's done a better job of writing it. So over here, I'll insert it in place of my current text. Here I could close out of the assistant and that now looks so much better. With a free account, you'll notice this number that says 100 prompts. You can interact or prompt the AI 100 times every single month. Every month you get another 100. If you need more than that though, you'll need a premium account. With a premium account, you get 10 times the number of AI prompts with 1,000 every single month. Along with more AI credits, you also get additional suggestion types like wordy sentences, help with unclear sentences, and even plagiarism detection. All right, well, that's how you can start improving your writing. And again, it doesn't cost anything at all. Now, you might be wondering, well, how does Grammarly make money? They offer a freemium model. With their free plan, they offer a ton of value and also functionality. And if you really want to take your writing to that next level, they offer premium plans. They don't sell your data to third parties. That's not their business model. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next video.